today's video, we're going to be showing you a cross man defense. It's going to do a really good job against the bunch formation man. Or it's going to be a dollar. The main purpose reason in, uh, for using dollar is a it's a symmetrical formation. There's a lot you can do from pressure coverages and also making everything look the same pre snap. One of the other reasons why we're utilizing dollar though is because we have the cover to press of the multiple defensive playbook, which is the best blitz defense in the game. If you want to send four, I don't think there's any better four-man pressure this year than the cover two press out of the dollar three two. Now with that being said, if you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, I'll leave a link to the Patreon down below. By being a Patreon member, you'll get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, everything for just ten dollars. And um yeah, a lot of stuff there. We've got a lot of updates for you. But let's get into it real quick. Coaching adjustments. Auto flip is going to be off. We're going to not base a line. Now you can baseline. I'm going to explain why we don't base a line um, on the field, and then you're going to turn your zone coverage on the match. Okay, so the biggest reason we don't base align, specifically if we're playing someone that's running bunch or formations like bunch, is this right here. So if I go ahead and put this outside third on the bunch side, and then we'll talk about different cross mans in a second, I just want you to watch this outside third and how it's going to defend this vertical streak. You're going to see that it's going to press, and it's going to literally just take it away. It's going to bag it. He's never going to get burned over the top. It's a great press animation. Now, if I was to base align and do the exact same adjustment, now what you're gonna notice is my uh, corner on that side is two feet um, outside of that solo wide receiver. So you're gonna see that he's gonna whip on his press and I can just lob this streak over the top for a big play. That's the reason we don't press or we don't base line. Um, now, a way to work around that if you are in base line, if you wanna be in base line, would be to man up that solo wide receiver corner onto the solo wide receiver. And then what you wanna do is then put him in an outside third. Now what you'll see is this adjustment, well, oops, I apologize, that actually is a really important thing what you saw. If they audible, it resets. So if they audible at the line of scrimmage, it's gonna reset that, that uh, decision. So let me explain. So I'm gonna go to put this guy in a man up on Devontae Adams, and then I'm gonna put him in an outside third. And then I'm going to audible to verticals. Look at the left side. You see how he moved? So what do we have to do? We have to man him up again, and we have to outside third him again. Okay, that's really important. You've got to have to watch that. If you want to run this defense on baseline, this is the best way, because as you see, it's just going to absolutely bag him. Now, the reason we don't run this defense on baseline, generally speaking, is due to the fact that when we don't run it on baseline, we don't really have to worry about that problem. So we're going to not run it on baseline. We're going to put this guy in the outside third. From there, everything else is very simple in terms of how we're going to set this up. We're going to literally man up different players. Um, and what I like to do, the reason I like to do this out of cover two is because we'll typically third one side and cloud one side. So we're going to man or we're going to third the bunch side, or uh, I'm sorry, the solo side. And then we're going to back off this guy on the right on that outside cloud flat. You don't have to back that off, but I do think it's helpful. And then we're going to, we're going to start to uh, man up players. So we're going to, Man up the slot corner on the running back. We're going to cross man the safety onto the slot receiver. That's going to take away verticals really well. And then we're going to take this. Um, we're going to take the uh, safety on the right side of there, and we're going to man him up onto. Um, oh, I'm drawing a blank. We're going to man him up on the outside bunch receiver, and then the slot. Typically, I like to man him up on the tight end. You could make an argument if you want to press the slot receiver. You can do that. You could go with a man up that looks more something like this as well. That's fine. Um, you, you really just want to man these guys up on the bunch side. It, it, and really, honestly, it's whatever iteration of the man ups that you want to do, you can feel free to do that, okay? The biggest concept here is we have a cloud to the short side, and then we have this match third zone on the left-hand side. And what this is going to do is it's going to help create different types of brackets all across your defense. So what you're going to see not only we have one of the better blitzes in the game, but now all we really need to lurk as, our lurk is literally our zone. We're going to lurk like a mid-read defender. We're going to try to lurk the middle of the field. Okay, That is the biggest thing uh, that we're going to be doing here defensively. And the other cool part about this is running back wheels do a good job of beating press man this year, right? Well, they're not going to do a good job of beating press man if, there's an outside third here. Watch this outside third. You'll see if that if that solo receiver runs underneath, then he is going to, that third is going to take away the wheel route over the top. So really the only thing they have open on this play uh, consistently is going to be the 
C route to the solo wide receiver side, which there's some things we can obviously do uh, to take that away as well. One of the, and I'll show you a couple simple things we can do. But the, really, the only thing they're going to have is this double post. And the biggest thing is you're going to lurk the post route. So you're going to be like a mid read defender. And then the only thing else they're really going to have is this C route to the wide, to the uh, to this left side. So you see here when he cuts, they always have to, obviously they're going to have to have time for that to develop, but that is the one route that they have available to them. So how do we counter that? Well, very simple counter. Um, typically what we're going to do here is we are just simply going to put this guy on an outside quarter instead of an outside third. We're going to shade outside, and then we're going to do pretty much everything else identical, okay? And by utilizing an outside quarter instead of an outside third, a lot of times what can happen is this C route can get absolutely lurked by this outside quarter. So let's see here, see how he lurks it? It's basically a, literally a match quarter and he'll take that away. So those are some great tactics for uh, defending gun bunch type of concepts, utilizing cross manning. Again, you can be pretty flexible. Another really great cross man technique, one of my personal favorites would be to take this linebacker and cross man him on the tight end if we're going to only send three. When sending three, make sure you're blitzing your user and you have these bars over the top of your head. From there, it gives us a lot more flexibility in terms of how we put zones to the right side of the screen. So we could even do something um, like cross man the slot, cross man here, and now we have the ability if we wanted to. Honestly, we could send five. We could send both slots um, if we wanted to do that. Or uh, we could run a, per a curl flat and an outside third. Very good combination on this backside, and then we can take that corner, and we could take him and put him in a um, man up on the running back for like double post or something like this route combo. A lot of people like to do where we do something like this. Watch this man up from the slot. He'll absolutely lurk that route. Most of the time, I'll actually pick it off. Didn't play great man covers there, but but you see the idea. So cross man is a really good job, especially um, cross man is going to do a really good job against crossing routes. Okay. Uh, the one thing I actually probably the most important thing that we haven't gone over yet, and we'll show you to you right here, is how this is going to do it defending the play verticals. So because you're manning up the running back, it's going to help a lot. And then you'll see here that this cross man on the crossing route is going to do a really good job. So you'll see here, look at this cross man. He'll pretty much almost always be at least in the vicinity and potentially able to lurk that entirely. Obviously, in that situation, my user is going to be underneath that as well because of the fact that I don't have to worry about the tight end or the outside wide receiver on wheel route. So these are just different cross man concepts. You're going to do a really good job at bracketing corner routes and also funneling, really helping defend against crossing routes and allowing you to lurk kind of over the middle of the field like a mid-read defender. Thanks for watching the video. To learn more about the dollar defense or to just take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.